Well, another pretty cool tool that's under the Analysis tab is the Drive command. So once I have select on my corridor, what I'm going to do is I'm going to select the alignment that I want to drive down along. And you can use a feature line of the corridor as well. So I'm going to go ahead and select my alignment that I want to use. And then I can go ahead and select a profile that I want to use as well. And once I've selected those two, it then brings up basically a 3D view of my corridor. Now what I have here are some options here that allow me to set certain things about this particular drive through along my corridor. I can set my eye height. I can also set the offset. Again, since we were driving a little bit off the side there, I'm going to go ahead and set that for three feet. And you'll notice that it shifts over. Under the Navigate tab here, I have buttons that basically allow me, just much like the Action Recorder that we've seen in the past, to set various settings. This sets the increment that we move along during the drive. I can set my speed. I'll leave it at 40 miles an hour. I can also set the type of view style that I want to use. Uh, maybe you want to go with realistic, but we'll use conceptual. I can also go to a particular station along here as well. I also have options to set my target. And this is just how far the location is that I'm looking at along here. And I can then close it out. So if I want, I can just go ahead and press play at this point. And we're now driving down our corridor. Now, of course, you may want to go ahead and freeze some of the layers uh, that you have set here so that you don't see a lot of the objects along the corridor as well. So again, kind of a nice little tool there that allows you to actually see what it's going to look like as you're driving down the road. And of course, like I said, you could set up a realistic visual style and just have some fun with this.